Hi everyone, Sherry here. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be making a card with the Vintage Leaf Stamp Set from Stamping Up. And I'll be using my Distress Inks on some Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. So I'm using the peeled paint. I'm going to stamp the first leaf. And then on the second one I'm going to be using a little bit of scattered straw. And then on the third one I'll be using some scattered straw along with barn door. And then I'm just going to place these around the left and bottom portion of the watercolor paper. A little bit later in the project I'll be bringing in some brushed corduroy. That's going to coordinate with the um, brown cardstock that I'm going to use as a mat for the watercolor paper. So one more to go here. All right, so now I'm going to take my silver round. It's a number eight. Sorry, you couldn't see it there. I'm just dipping it into some clean, clear water, and I'm going right over that stamped image. Because of the nature of the Distress Ink, um, the color lifts once you touch it with water and allows you to move it around. And as you can see here, I went into the yellow before I went into the red. This way I can reserve the yellow color within that leaf. So by the magic of the camera, of course, I'm almost finished. I'm moving along to the green now. I'm going to finish up that one. I just think this stamp set lends itself to this particular technique. It's one of my favorite from Stampin' Up. I'm going to finish painting this leaf in the green and then I'm going to get out my heat tool and I'm going to make sure that I have this really dry. And then I'm going to use all of the colors that I used to paint the leaves and just splatter some color on to get rid of that stark white background. And during this process too, as you can see there, I've got the brushed corduroy. I'm going to bring that in as part of the splatters to match the cardstock that I used for uh, the die cut and for the mat behind my um, watercolor panel. There's several different ways you can splatter your project. I just like to take the Distress Ink, press it on an acrylic block, get a wet brush, get some pigment on the brush, and then tap it on my finger. It does make a mess, but I'm working on a craft sheet that covers my entire table, so I am able to just wipe that up and move on. So now I have some brown cardstock that was in my stash and I've cut the Painted Thanks die out three times. And I learned this trick from Amy R. I'm so grateful she showed it because it does make it easier. I do leave one of the die cuts in uh, the piece of cardstock. I remove the rest. And then I use that to, um, as a guide, basically, to attach uh, the rest of them that I want to stack on one another. And as you can see here, my glue pen was giving me a fit. I got a little overzealous in some spots, but in the end it works out well. However, as she mentions, um, you do want to take this out immediately and not really leave it sitting in there to dry. Otherwise, if you have glue overage, <laughs> you are definitely going to not be able to get it out. So now I'm going to do the inside of the car. So I'm card, excuse me. I'm taking that smallest leaf. And I'm stamping it again in the red and yellow. And just going to stamp that in the lower corner. And then I'm using a stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called Friendship Blossom. And the greeting, thank you for everything. And I'm going to stamp that on the inside. So now that I have the inside stamped, I'm going to add a piece of that same brown cardstock. And I have cut that out with the um, 
basic rectangle die by Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to adhere the watercolor piece with some Tombow. And then I'm going to use the same adhesive and attach both layers to the card front. And get that lined up. I like the Tombow. It gives me wiggle room. And then I'm going to take my glue pen and fight with it just a little bit more. And I'm going to um, place that on the front of the card. And that's going to finish it up. So as always, all the supplies that I've used are in the video description below. And they are also on my blog. I appreciate you joining me today. And I hope to speak to you really, really soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.